Welcome to the Library of the Society of Antiquities of London, located in our beautiful reading room at Burlington House. Our library is the largest antiquarian library in the country, with more than 130,000 printed books dating from the 15th century to the present day. We also house approximately 3,000 current and historic journal titles, over 20,000 prints and drawings, over 1,000 manuscripts, and the archives of the Society, which date back to its reformation in 1717. Although our primary purpose is to support our fellowship, the library is also open to researchers by appointment. We are normally open Mondays to Friday from 10 until 5 and open to all researchers who want to consult material they cannot find elsewhere. You can book your appointment to the library by sending us an email at library at sal.org.uk letting us know what date and time you would like to visit and what material you wish to look at. We will then make sure your material is ready for you on arrival. We provide a number of services for researchers, including many online catalogues for our books, manuscripts, archives and objects, an inquiry service and an image service. Let's have a look at how you can make the most out of the Society. Welcome to the Society's website. From here, I will show you our online services, including how to locate our online catalogues and how to make use of our image service. From the Society's homepage, hover your mouse over the Collections tab which will produce a drop-down menu, providing links to our library catalogue, our collections catalogue, and other pages, including our images and photocopying service, our visiting and using the collections page, and our collections highlights, which will offer an insight into the types of objects we have in our archives and collections. You can also go direct to our library catalogue by heading straight to library.sal.org.uk. Once you've clicked through to our library catalogue, you will be able to search through our entire printed book collection using the library catalogue option on the search bar. As an example, here is a search for a publication using the keywords crosses and culture. Once you've clicked through the catalogue, you will be presented with a number of options, or if you know exactly what you need, the catalogue will take you directly to the book's record. If we click on the below book, we can see the catalogue record, including the important information such as title, author, publisher and date. Well, you can also see more information about our copy of the book, including where it is located in the library. If you wish to view material in the library, please let us know exactly where the book is in the collection in your email, so we can correctly locate the publication you require. From the search bar, you can also search our entire e-resources subscriptions by searching under the All Resources option. However, you can only gain access to these if you are a fellow of the Society. Where possible, we have added links to open access journals, such as those available via Archaeology Data Service, and also links to the Society's research reports that have been digitised and are available to download for free. An example of this is our latest research report, the Staffordshire Hall, which you can download for free using the hyperlink here. Once you've located the material you would like to look at, email us at the aforementioned email address and we will arrange your visit. Alongside our library catalogue, we also have our collections catalogue, our online home for our museum object records and archives, which works in much the same way as the library catalogue. For the first time, we are making our museum object records held by the Society at Burlington House publicly available. Some object records are more complete than others and we will be editing and improving the records that we display. Museum objects held at Kelmscott Manor will also appear here as they are catalogued. For a quick introduction to our collections, you can also visit our Collections Highlights page, showcasing a range of material held by the Society or you can visit Art UK to see our collection of paintings at both Burlington House and Kelmscott Manor. The Society also offers an image reproduction service where we provide digital images for both commercial and non-commercial use, subject to a licensing agreement. If you would like to use an image for research purposes or publication, you can find out more about our service at the Images and Photocopying Services page on our website, including our image policy and prices. To make a request, simply fill out and return the image request form, which you can find at this page to images at sal.org.uk. 
we don't already have the requested image on file, then we do have the facilities to supply new images and will commission new photography when necessary. Inquirers will be expected to meet photography charges and the society will retain copyright for the image and supply it under licence. As the page suggests, we also run a photocopying and scanning service and if you would like us to provide copies of a page or a chapter, simply fill out and return the photocopy and scan request form which you can also find on this page and pass it back to our library email address. Thank you for watching this quick introduction to using the library and its services. To access the catalogues, please visit the address shown here and you can follow the Society on social media at Sock Antiquaries.